Welcome Leo to your April bonus love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here is we're going to use this deck to pull some energies, do some tarot, and at the end of the reading we're going to pull these lovers of oracles followed by these messages of love oracles and hidden truths from your person. Just keep in mind if this reading does not resonate, you guys can go ahead and check out um, the April reading and mid-April because it's not going to resonate with every single one of you. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading and see what's coming in for you, Leo. What is coming in for Leo? Ooh, we have the moon. Intuition. Ooh, and the Ten of Cups. and the sun and the seven of wands okay so all these just wanted to come out so let's put them out so we have the sun the emperor in reverse and the seven of wands okay why is emperor in reverse eight of rings in reverse and the ace of cups okay Now again, uh, just keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. You guys could be dealing with an Aries, um, another fire sign, but the Emperor is in reverse, so let's get, oh, and we have the Empress on the bottom. All right, let's see. We have the Page of Wands, the Will, the Five of Pentacles, Justice, Three of Swords, Five of Cups, okay, Six of Wands, the High Priestess, and there you are. All right, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So a need to protect yourself here. Okay, Leo, big message here for you. The will is here, and I feel like there's change here, but also a lot of hurt and heartbreak. Something that possibly made you very happy, all right? And then we have this emperor that just puts a lot of darkness in the reading. Because the emperor is in reverse. So this is someone who's very, you know, who's not compassionate, uh, who's very cold, manipulative, does not take responsibility of their own actions. And you have the seven of wands twice. So to me, it's you're defending yourself against this type of energy. Because all you're wanting is that happiness, that ten of cups energy, that abundance, right? This is you. You have two cards that represent abundance, joy, love, you know. And then things, uh, I feel like you are using your intuition and going through the unknown. But it's saying what this will of fortune is to kind of stand still. Because the universe is protecting you. It's like karma's at play here, okay? You might not see the whole picture yet because things are happening behind the scenes. But you're coming up as the empress. This could be a divorce or something that happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of. But there's some injustice, okay? And I feel like this person you know, this was either a separation, a breakup, a third party, or something in that sort, where it left you heartbroken and left out in the cold. But what you don't see coming is the Six of Wands energy. This is victory. This is feeling confident again, being recognized, okay? Um, I feel with this High Priestess, this is asking you to trust your intuition here and to be still. I feel that very strongly in this reading. You're dealing with someone who is very manipulative, who is, you know, toxic, someone who's not in a good place, someone that, you know, felt like some type of battle here, who brought a lot of sadness into your life. I feel like you are taking the best um, path for you, but it's asking you to take care of yourself because the Empress is all about nurturing 
she's very nurturing and loving and caring and responsible. This is someone who is joy, who is abundant. So that is you needing to believe that's who you are, right? So it's asking you to, to be still. The universe has your back, no matter how hard this may be or uh, the battle that you faced or the challenges or obstacles you went through with this person, everything's going to unfold the way that it's supposed to, okay? So it's asking you to trust. It could be due to something with finances, but justice is in play. So this is karmic. It's about choices, getting what you deserve, but this person's not taking any responsibility to where you're needing to protect yourself. Nine of Wands, yeah, you have your guard up. You have your walls up with this person. The Queen of Cups and the Chariot. Oh, yeah, this is victory. This is overcoming obstacles no matter what. You're shooting for the sun here, okay? And this person is just getting a, getting in the way of the happiness. That's what it looks like. They're just like, it's a battle to get this person away, you know, but destiny's here. There could be um, some communication coming in also regarding some type of communication or a message coming through. Um, but this also could be somebody new that has their eye on you that's wanting to come towards you. But the Six of Wands, you have cards that are showing victory. You're showing abundance. All right. So this Justice card is coming in because this and then the, the Will of Fortune. So it's Karmic Justice. Um, and then what you don't see is the Six of Wands, feeling victorious. Okay. This is like you gone through a lot in this situation, a lot, and held on to your faith here, going through the unknown. But you have your Ten of Cups, the Sun, and this person does not like that. I don't know who this reading is for, but I am going to post it anyways, because I'm sure someone needs to hear it. Um, but I would take what resonates with you because to me it looks like there this person was is just very cold, um, playing a lot of games, being manipulative within some type of either court or just feel or just you know not taking any responsibility of anything. Like and there was a lot of emotions invested in here. All right, let's see what this person has to say to you, uh, Leo. I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, I don't know who this is for, but it's a very strong reading. We need to let each other go. Okay, so yes, and I feel like you're knowing that. It's really hard to, you know, hold your tongue sometimes when it comes to someone you had emotions with that, you know, can be so cold towards you. It takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage to overcome this type of energy because it's like a very powerful, but in a bad way, okay? And you're standing strong and a loving person. So I feel like you're dealing with someone's darkness here, um, but you're knowing it's time to let go, okay? You're knowing that. So this person could just be constantly trying to hurt you, and but it's just asking you to stay still, like let everything take, some of you already got out of this, I feel, and so you already know what this means. Um, but someone could be, you know, trying to invest, instigate or trying to get a reaction or something. But you're, you're standing strong. You have your guard up. You already know what this person is about. Sorry. Uh, finding out the truth crushed me. So finding out the truth crushed me. Yeah, they could have possibly found out something. Maybe you're with somebody else or maybe something was said. But either way, um, this person's, you know, carrying that energy with the emperor in reverse. They're less compassion. No matter what you say, they're always, they're going to look at it negatively. Okay, because with, again, when they're in reverse, there's no, you're the sun, you're coming up as the positive one. And they are, you know, the, the dark one here, the one that has a lot of, anger and thinking with nothing but their ego like not not good you were the best thing in my life and just being near you is intoxicating that's probably why they're acting like that they're not ready to let you go they're not ready for 
you to be happy without them. They want the control. They want, but they're, but they don't make you happy. It's so unfulfilling here. Very unfulfilling energy. It's like they want it their way or no way, you know? And then when you decide to do good for yourself, it's like they're coming back angry because you're happy without them. Energy. And then we have this uh, Ace of Cups coming in. So this is all about self-love, new beginnings, new opportunities, feeling confident with yourself again. I mean, this is a beaut this is like renewal here with the Ace of Cups, a new love, romantic partnership, uh, maybe divinely guided. This is you having that fulfillment in your spirituality and in within your life or wanting that, right? You're, you're not wanting to be left out in the cold anymore. Yeah, a lot of you could be surrendering this and leaving it in the past. Past. Oh yeah, you were dealing with someone's shadow. Sorry, you were dealing with someone's shadow side. Very dark, deep, deep wounds, deep things they need to work on themselves. But the hangman's in reverse, so it's surrendering, a change of perspective and surrendering this energy. Now let's see what the messages of love have to say. Leo, this is really strong reading here. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Let's get another one. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. So this is this could be you and someone else, you know, enjoying life together. Um, and this is probably what's crushing them. Um, again, take what resonates with you, okay? So this could be somebody who already moved on and this is a past situation. Maybe dealing with this energy still. New love, yeah. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. So yes, I feel like with this six of wands, someone's noticing you, okay? Someone's noticing you. Um, and friendship, this friendship is leading to more. Yeah, this could be a friend. I mean... <laughs> Definitely something new as you're surrendering this energy, okay? Um, let's see what the lovers of oracles have to say. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. That's where the sun comes in. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. If you are in this situation right now, this is telling you to keep going, keep pushing forward, okay? Um, and the universe is very protecting you here. It, a lot of, is happening behind the scenes. Ooh, we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, Leo. Manifesting miracles. There it is. I feel like a lot of you are going to come from that sun energy and feeling happy and whole once this energy is released. Um, or just not dealing with this energy anymore. And you're, that's when you start attracting and feeling good about yourself. Even when you're by yourself or not really looking for anyone, just that smile, that higher vibration is gonna attract people to want to be around you. And that's what I feel like you're doing with manifesting miracles. Um, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Yes, it's asking you to trust your intuition. It's right here. You have all the answers here, okay? You're very intuitive, Leo. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you. If you do like this reading or if it helps in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.